Okay guys, how's he doing? Uh, another Friday visit to Elite Dangerous. This is going to be a quick video. Uh, it's more an explanation of what I've been doing in the past while rather than anything else. If you've seen my videos, my past three videos, you'll notice that I'm not flying a Cobra Mark 4 anymore, I'm flying a Cobra Mark 3. Very interesting story how that happened. Uh, I'll let you see as soon as this gets into the proper game mode. I made a, a rookie error, a pretty fucking basic rookie mistake because uh, I'm a dumb fuck. Which is uh, which is well known. I'm, I'm not exactly a rocket scientist. But here I am at Uh Now there has been for the past while a, a community goal in Obutrima. Now, as you can see, I'm at the in the top fifty percent in Obutrima uh, of for delivering skimmer components. So I'm due two and a half million credits, which is extremely fucking useful at the moment, and I'll explain why. Uh, I also have four fines, but we won't go into that. I this is my second community goal that I've taken part in. The first one was last week's in Mukoji. Uh, I managed to get myself a million credits for that, but before I collected it, I flew over here to start the delivery. Uh, the delivery community goal. Now, if you haven't, if you don't play this game, there are two, three main factions. There's independent, oh, sorry, alliance, uh, federation, and imperial. Now, imperials and federations are basically like the empire and federation, I guess. Uh, and Star Wars. Or a version, a version of that, or maybe, maybe suppose Star Trek would be a better version because it's not like. Uh, there's no Sith Warlords or anything like that. And if you look at my status, I spent most of the game in Federation space. I, I began the game in LHS3447, which is a Federation uh, system, and I just decided to run with it. Then I decided to do some exploring, which is why my exploring rank is Pathfinder came back, got myself up to Vulture and then decided to stop playing the game. So when it came to this particular community goal, I decided, okay, my, my Cobra Mark 4 can do 50, 54 or 56 uh, tons of cargo at a time. Is there a ship I can get that's bigger? So I looked here and I found this, the Federal Dropship, right? And I had enough to buy it and to rig it with decent power plant and stuff, but not weapons, right? And that was my fucking rookie mistake. Uh, but it was one or two that I made at the same moment. But when you're doing a community goal, and we'll go to the missions board so you can see, generally there is community goals at the same place for the two main factions, right? As you can see, Federation, uh, no, not the other one's gone, the other one's finished already because the Empire being the baddies tends to get more people for it, right? So. There's the Empire, Empire League, right? So the Empire's already completed theirs because Federal is a bit like being the man, do you know what I mean? Uh, it is the, the, cl the, c the clean up your community style uh, faction as opposed to the Empire, which is cool, groovy, we've got fucking slick black and red fucking uniforms type. So as soon as you have a ship that either says Federal or Imperial, 
then you're targeted by the other side, right? And the Empire being the vastly bigger group. I pulled up with 104 tons of fucking skimmer parts, four Imperial fucking commanders uh, in a wing, interdicted me and blew the fuck at me, right? At this point, I had maybe one or two million credits left. So, nearly crying, I decided, fuck it, I'm going to go back to delivering letters. Went on to deliver letters for a bit. Got a, a delivery for 300,000 light seconds, is it light seconds, from the nav beacon. And a thousand light seconds from the nav beacon, I was interdicted and shot out the sky twice. I ran away the first time, the second time I couldn't run away uh, because they'd already fucking blitzed me. And because I was in a federal drop ship, it was a ship that was sizable enough to beat me and I got my fucking ass handed to me. Which left me, as you can see, I now have 379,000 credits, whereas I did have uh, what, 14 million and a decent rigged out fucking Mark IV. So I had to go straight back to Sidewinder or take a fucking loan out, which I didn't do. So I went for Sidewinder and in the space of a day and a half, uh, a session and a half I guess, I went for Sidewinder to Holler, to Adder, to Vulture for some reason and then back to Cobra Mat 3. So I now have a Cobra Mat 3 which I, I rigged out, you're probably not going to this is going to take a bit of time. Okay. I rigged out with decent power plant and decent uh, frame shift drive to get me 17 light years distance and frame shift. Got myself to Mukoji, picked up my 1 million. In fact, sorry, uh, I got myself thrusters to 13, right? And I, I had to forgo the. Sorry, I had to forgo the power plant that I had for a frame shift drive, decent frame shift drive. Got myself up to 13 light years frame shift. Went to Mukoji, picked up my 1 million and then upgraded a bit. Now, I actually, at this moment, I don't have any weapons. There's my weapons, I'm still using the utilities, or the, the weapons that I was given when I bought it, right? That's how fucking, there's my optionals. Uh, do you know what I mean? A 16 cargo rack's about all I fucking got. I might have got a decent f shield, in fairness. So I'm sitting in a pretty fucking as bog standard as you can get. Lightweight alloys, do you know what I mean? And now I'm waiting for my community call so I can get 2 million credits, 2.5 million worth of credits then I'm going to rig it out a bit better and uh, yeah that's the last time I went to fly a fucking Imperial dropship but I, I'm going to pick a mission fly a bit as I explain one more thing and then I'm going to go this is basically just a, uh, me uh, moaning and showing how stupid I am now the reason I managed to get Eighteen units of leather. Right, I'm actually just going to deliver this, but what I would like to tell you about is the way that I. In fact, let's collect that just now before it, in case it disappears. What I would like to explain to you is the Elite Dangerous database, which totally saved my game. Now this here is an acquisition request. Rather than deliver something it's saying what we need you to do is find something and bring it back to us. Uh, and when I was going for this first community, this second community goal here, right, it was looking for skimmer parts. Now I was actually in a system that had skimmer parts but it was something like 9 or 12 9 unladen, 12 laden light jumps away. So I went on to the Elite Dangerous 
Facebook page that says help me out guys and uh, yeah the Elite Dangerous database if you do not know about this you really fucking need to know about this it totally saved my game now due to the fact that Windows 10 has killed my, my webcam and Gamecaster doesn't allow me to show you an external website I'm not going to be able to show you it just now, but I will once I get myself some more time in my hands. Ship detached complete. Access corridor is clear. Ship detached. I'm going to actually show you. I'll show whoever watches this. The Elite Dangerous Database in the hope that it's going to help some other rookies. Uh, like I said, as you can see, all the little black squares, they're all other player characters, as in the, the filled in ones are non-player characters. As you can see, you can see one there, just if you look at the big circle in the middle, there's one guy just flying out of my circle there. Now, they're player characters. Now, when you play in the evening, and you are... Aligned with the one faction, then the other. F I, I, well, to be honest, I don't know if the Feder Federation does it, but I know the Empire has a bunch of fucking griefers like fuck that do it, which annoys the piss out of me, but I, I, I have to understand it's part of the game. I'm quite new to the community goal, so until I can get myself a decent ship and an ability to fucking shoot other ships out of the water. And maybe I should team up. I think I probably should team up in fairness. Uh, because it was a wing of four that fucking ganked me. Which is a, a wing of four ships. Uh, it does a way of uh, joining ships together. So that when you go into a fight, you're fighting with your mates. Uh, which, when you're a wee guy like me on my own, Lone Wolf, Lawless rather than aligned really. Four, three, two, it makes for a it makes for a I know very nice fucking playing experience. Which is putting me off community goals. Now what I plan to do is get myself back up to a a decent rigged out ship. Incoming mission critical message. What have we got? Probably delivered earlier, yeah. Now this is something that annoys me. You get three minutes to find your fucking shit, right? Uh, I don't even know if I can get to this place in three minutes, but we'll try. Sometimes they give you a, a, a time that's so small, you're never able. To, you're never gonna get to it in time. But there we go. Right. So back to it. The Elite Dangerous database, not only did it improve my community goal by allowing me to find a system right next door that had skimmer parts, when I dropped down to Sidewinder, uh, the acquisition... Oh, I'm behind the planet, it's behind the planet. The acquisition missions were more profitable, so what you do is when you find something that says please find me 10 tons of leather, let's say, because leather was one of the ones that was there at the start of this game. You come out of the game by pressing the Windows sign, sign website between your alt and control, go to the web page, type in your system and type in what you're looking for and it actually tells you where the closest place is. It is fucking mental and I love it. Uh, there's a donation button at the bottom of it, and uh, I urge anybody who uses it to donate. Uh, I'll be making a proper video, like I says, where I, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna piece together me acquiring something and using no games cast. What's the other one? 
if I do, I can't remember the name of the fucking thing. Yes, sir. So I can show you all how fucking easy it is. Now, there's a chance that I'm the the last person to the party and everybody else that plays Elite Dangerous knows that this, is, this thing's existence. But in the the event that I haven't, and if I can show one rookie new guy this website, then I've done a, a decent service. But like I said, it saved my fucking game. Because one light jump acquires some stuff, even in a, a sidewinder where you can probably only lift two or four tons of stuff. I managed to get myself back up to a Cobra Mat 3, get myself to move Koji to pick up my one million, and then get myself a, a decent flying ship, at least a decent delivery ship. See? Ah, fuck off. That's it, tell me. Oh, you didn't want that extra money we were offering you. What? We hoped you'd rise to the occasion. There's not a lot I could have done there to get quicker. Right? They give you a, an unattainable fucking uh, drinky coffee. An unattainable goal. But fuck it, what are you going to do? Fact. Deleting you. There you go. Okay. Mission completed. Yeah, so I've got like an hour. I think it's an hour. An hour and twenty minutes before I can collect two and a half million, so I want to stay in this area. Uh, donate to the cause. I don't, I don't have money to date, to donate to the cause. But what I have decided to do, I noticed on the Galnet, or at least, I don't know if that's what it's called for the ones, the, the news you get on the the opening screen that there's a lot of outbreaks between minor factions and others. There's a lot of factions that's got the smaller factions. See, these are all small factions, right? And then these are the big ones because they're feather, feather right? There's a lot of outbreaks and famine and shit like that. So what I might start doing is see, I could take that, but I don't know. I don't know if. Uh, when I come out to look. In fact, I might just do it. Fuck it. Wait there. Right. I'm going to take this. And I don't know what's going to happen when I go. I cut out onto the webpage. If you can hear me, you can hear me. You might hear me and I'll be back soon. Signal showing up. If you can't. We'll see what I, I can't remember what I fucking. I set this to. Okay. So I am in a cabby and I want advanced medicines. So Oh it's a ah oh, that's the name of the okay, okay, that's my mistake. So where am I then? Navigation. Oh, Kokijo, sorry.
there as there. Get myself out here, refuel. Mute so I can sneeze. Now, the truth is, I just don't have time to edit this in any way, because I'm, uh, I'm making this on the hop. Busy work week, as it were. Now, my guess is MD is watching this is probably played the game before and thinks I've got to watch something totally interesting, which so probably not. So I apologise in advance, especially if you've watched it this far. So I'm a year up on this gaming channel and next month, uh, which is nice. Four, three, two, one, engage. 150 videos, so is it? Is it as much as that? That's what it says on my, on my social plate. Uh, 49 subscribers, although I did hit the heady heights of 50. Look for Faraday Orbital. And about 4,000 views. I do have one video that's. That, that it's about 2,000 of those views. So I've got a lot of games that I've only got maybe one view. Maybe some I've got none. But I don't mind. I don't mind. This is what I've, I've chosen to do. Uh, but... If you're watching this, you can get the scoop. What I plan to do... For my birthday video as I'm going to put out a $50 prize and the concept will be I'm going to post my guess I'm going to put 9 I'm going to say of my playthroughs uh, in the description I'm going to ask for some observational questions based on those it's going to be pretty simple Right, but you're gonna have to watch the videos in order to get because it is. I'm doing this in order to get my view count and my subscriber count up, and the answers to them could be messages to me. And after a certain amount of time, I'm going to pick a winner, and the winner gets fifty dollars delivered to them, or fifty euro. Uh, actually, I have a plan which I had when I started this channel. But basically it's going to be something simple like body count, do you know what I mean? Uh, and say right there's nine videos, give me the body count. But it's not going to be quite that, oh fuck, sorry. And the hope is I'm going to make it so that uh, if you want prize that I have to have a certain amount of subscribers and a certain amount of views and I'm going to make sure that it's controlled in a way that people can't just say right this is a number let's all subscribe and not watch the videos so I'm going to expect that the people that actually apply watch the fucking videos otherwise it's not going to work otherwise like it's, it's going to be a one-off thing do you know what I mean but yeah you heard it here first and hopefully like I've got to say like
let's say now how many have I to get? Fifty notes. I'm hoping I can afford that kind of Do you know what? I might just fucking load up. <laughs> okay. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Mission objective complete. Okay. Yeah, so it's a simple concept. Basically, watch, try and get maybe a hundred full views and nine of my videos. Right, which is going to up my watch in minutes. Uh, put a, a subscriber minimum on it. So, like, if I reach the, the money, will be paid out when I reach 250 subscribers. Uh, and then, yeah, hopefully, gear it's going to build my channel a bit. And then, if that happens, if it works. Then I'll go and do it again and again and again. I've actually uh, budgeted for another eight times or seven times. But there you go. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. I mean, it's going to be, I'm going to do it anyway for the birthday issue and if it if if this time next year, right, let's say I'm sitting at fucking fifty one subscribers, then fuck it. What are you gonna do? Can't see another fucking tried. Frameshift drive charging. My long term goal, hopefully, that I can every time I do one, I can say right, well, uh, uh, the locks and increased amount of subscribers, and then I might have a channel with decent amount of subscribers. One. And the father there for is to fucking pick up fifty bucks every three months. I don't mind, right? I don't care. Just watch the fucking videos. I'll f I'll find my fucking niche. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but being a channel, we only f forty nine subscribers, and people just look at it and fucking walk away anyway. Do you know what I mean? So what's the worst that can happen? Fuel scoop disengaged. But well, I don't want to go there. But what's that can happen? The fucking internet's a fucking strange place. <laughs> But in the future, I could say like, okay, let's. Here's an example, right, uh, of a future version where I go, right, how many credits did I have when I entered a cabby terminal? So they have to fucking watch the videos to see when I was here, and then I can put. Do you know what I mean? That sort of thing. Let me know what you think. I also had an idea of playing a game like Fear, from start to finish, and then just say, right, body count, do you know what I mean? Uh, post the number. And it means for that whole section, that if. I don't know, maybe I'm talking too much. It's just I'm a year in, and I don't like the idea of turning up at people's YouTube channels and saying, Oh, I really like your channel. Please subscribe to my check my channel and subscribe to it without subscribing to theirs. I prefer subscribing to channels that I like, and I don't like spamming other people to try and get subs. So I need a way in, and this seems like a a a, a way in. And yes, I would eventually like a channel that's got lots of subscribers that would maybe self-sustain that sort of fucking model, that kind of, uh, uh, what's the, what I'm trying to say, get me ad revenue and I'll fucking give you shit model, do you know what I mean, then it would pay for its own games and give shit back, does that make sense? Obviously you're talking about a momentous size channel for that to happen. But, think big, lads, think big. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? What happened there? What happened there? I'm 
unfortunately I've got two fines, which isn't very nice. But I'd like to get them cleared off at some point. I need to see if they can clear any of my fines off here. So I'm sorry there wasn't any shooty shooty in this episode, but as you see, I don't have any guns. Uh, and this is what I've been doing for the past week. So... It's not possible for me to post a, a first 15 minute because this is the game I've been playing. So loads of delivery stuff. I'm probably going to be concentrating on, on these sort of things in the future, although I will be, as soon as I collect my money for this. Okay, that's what I was going to do. I will be, I can't pay the fine here, look. As soon as I pick up my two and a half mil credits, I'm going to be going to outfitting and picking up some decent shit. Get myself some guns, maybe even get myself a Mark IV. I think I can afford the Mark IV. And I'm going to deliver my way back up to a decent status. And then pick a ship that isn't uh, non-aligned. Uh, maybe if you're a, an Elite Dangerous pilot, you could let me know a decent unaligned Look at that, two, 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 one F pulse lasers. That's what I've been flying with for the past fucking two days, three days. Uh, yeah, what's the best on a line ship, all round on a line ship? I believe it's a, the, the, when I've been hearing people talking, I've been talking, uh, was it Python? Something like that, but that's fucking hundreds, hundreds of millions to get that, I think. But yeah, at the moment, it's going to be Mark 3 stroke Mark 4 delivery object with full weaponry is what I'm aiming for. Then I'm hoping that once I get a, a cargo in the 50s, right at the moment that's what I've got, but I could I could get rid of stuff and make it bigger. And up, I think you could upgrade that to a 16. But I'm going to get a, a Mark IV, kit it out and then start delivering shit in order to build up my cash and then try going fighting uh, we'll see uh, I want to make sure I've got enough insurance costs to be able to fail at fighting for a while so thanks for listening I know you just didn't have to I appreciate that if you have if you haven't then well you're not listening to this anyway so uh, I fucked all your mothers And yeah, you heard it here first. If you're not subscribed to me and you want to get in on the the prize, I'm going to... Like I said, it's an idea and it's not going to be, oh, here's $50, you're going to get it next week. There's going to have to be some fucking stipulations in order to try and build my channel. But if you like the idea of that happening eight times and you being in on that, then subscribe and uh, get yourself in on the ground fucking level. My hope is that let's say I, I jump up I don't know 5,000 subscribers would be a nice starting point wouldn't it uh, at 50 subscribers right my ad revenue for the year is somewhere on the re somewhere on the region of $4 or something like that right which is totally fucking understandable right but at 5,000 there you go that's got to be up That you would have to think if you do it right and explain it right, you could manage to self-sustain giving it shit to people and maybe even buy one or two of your own games. Now that seems to be like a fucking a decent model for a gaming channel to get themselves to a level where the games are getting paid for it and 
they're giving out shit to the people that are watching them, right? So that uh, it, it retains interest. Then if I play a triple A game, I say, right, do you want to win a copy? Do you know what I mean? That would be fucking. That would be great to be able to give out fucking copies of fucking games. I think that would be a fucking a class model for a gaming channel. But at the moment, uh, I'm Philip J Fry sitting at 49 fucking subs. So please consider liking, comment, subscribing. Please consider disabling your ad block when you watch my cha channel. And yeah. Until next time, guys. This is Huck. Peace out.